Again, get ready, Otis. It's, it's Aquila! This is super terrible, Aquila Volat. Lika Polaris is super terrible, Aquila Volat. Yeah. Tom said something about digging a hole. What for? Fun, I think. Mr. Evans lent him a couple of spades. Oh. Oh, well, I don't suppose they can come to much harm digging a hole, can they? Jeff! What's happened? Jeff, can you hear me? Holidays in a place like this. Not having to worry about the boys. Yes. I mean, at home, we'd never be able to let them wander off like that, would we? I suppose not. We'd be too worried about where they were, what they were doing, what might happen. But out here, in the country, you just know that they're safe. We could try and climb out. Yes. That wouldn't be easy. But if we crawl back up there, and I stood on your shoulders, we... What's the matter? Sorry. I was wondering what that was. It's a skeleton, Jeff. No, no. To the side. With that thing his hand resting on. It's a rock, isn't it? It's not a rock. It's got writing here. A. Q. Tom! What? What did you do? Nothing! You didn't touch anything. Nothing, honestly. It just appeared. You're quite sure you I didn't... told you! All I did was climbing like you've done and... Why not? We don't know what can happen, do we? That's why I wanted to push one. Well, let's think about it first, shall we? Think about it? Yeah. Let's sit here and, and think about it for a minute. I'll just try one of them. Oh, 
with the deck, of course. He never thinks about the consequences before he does anything. He just gets an idea in his head and whoosh, that's it. He's an adventurous boy, isn't he? <laughs> that's one word for it. He just doesn't seem to worry, you know. I can't understand it. He's got plenty to worry about. Are we still alive? I think so. Where are we? Well, we're in roughly the same place, but up a bit. Up? He's been like that since he was a baby. I remember it was a long time before we could persuade him to walk. He thought it was safer on all fours. <laughs> I'm not sure whether Jess ever tried to work out if something was safe or not. That's why I always like to know he's with Tom. At least Tom will make sure he keeps his feet on the ground. So, we can't shout for help because nobody would hear us. Right. We can't jump out because it's too high and we'd end up killing ourselves. Right. And we don't want to wait here because we don't know how long this thing's going to stay in the air. Right. So you're going to push one of those and see if it takes us down again. Right. But you're going to push it gently, right? Very gently. Right. That's interesting. Mrs. Evans says the boys are in a field about a mile and a half down the path. We can't miss it. I think you're wrong about Jeff. Hmm? You want the boys to take a few risks yeah. occasionally. It's how they learn. They enjoy it. That's why Jeff's so good for Tom. He makes him get out there and do things. Have a bit of fun. <laughs> Simple, you see. Up, down, forward and back. Can we just do that when it goes down? But there has to be something else, doesn't there? What? What would you do if you want to go to the side? Or turn around? Look, can we worry well, about no, this? Doesn't... <laughs> Tom? Yeah? Don't let go! <clears throat> I wonder if this is a good idea. What? The boys. Maybe we should just let them get on with it. Well, we're only going to check if they're OK. <gasps> That's what I mean. It's the first day of the holidays. Do they really want a couple of fussy mothers rushing around every five minutes to ask if they're OK? Ah, oh, see. You said yourself that there's nothing that can happen to them round here. Well, come on. You don't just think a quick... They don't need us, Sally. No. No, of course they don't. <gasps> OK! What happened? <sighs> that thing swung us round. I thought I lost you there. We Can we go down now, please? Ah, unfortunately. Just push the down button, Jeff. But it doesn't take us down anymore, does it? What? It takes us over there. Up takes us that way. Forward, back. None of them take us down. Can't you swing us back up? I tried. But believe it. As I see it, there's only one thing we can do. What? Hold on very tight. <laughs> Good. I reckon there's supposed to be another one the other Jeff, side. We can go down now, can't we? Well, if there were two of them, you see. Jeff! What? Down now. I think everyone should bring their children to a place like this. It is beautiful, isn't it? Well, it's not just beautiful, Pam. I think it's important. It is? Well, so many children have this idea that food comes in packets from the shops. But here. Here they can see what really happens. Ah. Oh. They can see that milk comes from cows, corn grows in the fields, eggs come from chickens. Yes. Ah, ladies. Would you fancy one for supper? Sorry, Mr. Evans. You like chicken, do you? Oh, yes, very much. Wonderful. Right. I'll go and get you one. Pam. 
Yes. You don't think he's actually going to? I think he has. Aquila. Does that mean anything? I don't know. Did we do that? I don't think so. It was like that when we got it. Good. Well, I suppose we'd better get back and tell everyone. Right. What are you doing? I thought you wanted to get back. Yes, but... You're not going to fly there. Well, it'll be quicker. Just have to make sure we turn left all the time. Are you coming? Hang on, I'm thinking. Thank you. You'd be different from the stuff you usually buy in supermarkets, I can tell you. That's very kind of you, Mr. Evans. They usually have battery hens, you see, and we don't hold with any of that. No. Plain cruelty is battery farming, should I say. And if there's one thing I cannot stand, it's cruelty to animals. No, I can see that. <laughs> Keep it, can we? Oh, come on, Jeff. Your mum doesn't even let you ride a bike on the main road. She's not going to let us keep something like this, is she? So what will happen to it? I don't know. The government will have it, I suppose. The government? I'd have thought so. And we'll never see it again? I doubt it. Tom? Yeah? I've got an idea. I still can't believe it, did it? Right in front of our eyes. I know. But I'm not eating it. Maybe if we try to see it as just another chicken from the shop. Well, it's not, is it? It's got feet. Well, yes. But... Mum? In here. Oh, I'll cover it up. There's no need to upset the boys. Hello, you two. How's the digging go? Is anything wrong? Mum, we found something. What? A body. What? A human body. A dead one. I hope this isn't one of your jokes, Tom. Well, we were digging a hole and Jeff fell into this sort of cave. And there was a skeleton under a pile of rubble. You get Mr Evans. I'll phone the police. Professor Hare, County Archaeology Department. Oh. So these are the boys, are they? Well, this is my son, Tom, How do you do? and uh, this is Geoffrey. How do you do? Well, we're extremely grateful to you both. It's a most exciting find. I thought it was just a body. Oh, goodness me, no, it's much more than that. Come on, I'll show you. This is some of the stuff we've brought up already. You can imagine how excited we are. The radiates are from the time of Carausius, and extremely rare. What's this? Ah, oh, now that's interesting. I've absolutely no idea. Any suggestions? It looks like a sort of safety harness, doesn't it? I'm sorry? You know, to make sure a Roman pilot doesn't fall out of his jet when he's looping the loop. <laughs> oh, I see. Yes, it does rather, doesn't it? Um, you notice the writing. Licat volare si super turgum aquila volat. Rather a nice motto. Any man can fly if he rides on the back of an eagle. Is Aquila the word that means eagle? That's right. Well, come on. This way to the morgue. Oh, 
He was a Roman soldier, a centurion of the 20th Legion, not very old, in his early 20s. We think he died sometime in the late 3rd century. Do you know how? He probably suffocated. These hills are riddled with caves and old mine workings. They stretch for miles. Our friend here was unlucky enough to be underneath when part of the roof fell in. How awful. And the marvelous thing is, it's kept everything so wonderfully preserved. You see the chasing on his kingulum. I wonder what he was doing down here. Well, there are all sorts of possibilities, but I think the evidence points to one rather obvious answer. What? The food and wine jars tell us he came here on a regular basis. And I'd say there was only one reason for that. There was something down here. Something valuable, perhaps, that he didn't want anyone else to know about. And I'm rather hoping we'll find it. Are you all right? Yes. Try not to move anything on the ground, please. You might disturb some vital clue, and, and we wouldn't want that, would we? Absolutely not. Honest, do you? What? Keeping it? I mean, it's not strictly ours. It's not anybody's, Tom. It's been in a hole in the ground for 1,600 years. That doesn't mean it belongs to us. Well, we know who it did belong to, and he doesn't want it anymore, does he? I suppose not. So we keep it? On one condition. What's that? We both agree never to hide it in a cave. <coughs> Bed, but I'm not sure they'll ever get to sleep. I know, they're far too excited. They didn't say they were planning for tomorrow, did they? No. Why? Well, whatever it is, it apparently involves rope. Rope? Jeff asked me for it at bath time. I must admit, I'm a little curious as to why. Tom asked me for some cushions. <laughs> what did he want those for? He said they were to sit on. Oh, very helpful. Cushions and rope. I wonder what they're up to. There's something basically dishonest about boys, isn't there? I mean, as far as I can see, they seem to operate their entire lives on a system of evasions, half-truths and downright lies. I wonder when they grow out of it. A lot of them never do. Can't they realise that simple honesty always pays in the long run? That telling the truth is the... Hello? Sorry to call so late, ladies. Not at all. Come in. Thank you. Uh... Supper all right, was it? Sorry? Chicken tasted all right, I hope. Oh, the chicken. It was delicious, Mr Evans. Absolutely mouth-watering. We were just saying how wonderful it was, weren't we, Pam? Yes, yes, we were. Good, good. Oh, I've come to pass this on for the morning. It's not another dead animal, is it? No, no, no. As for the boys. Been quite an exciting day for them, hasn't it? It certainly has, for all of us. It's crash helmets. Uh, that's right. They asked me this afternoon if I could lend them some protective headgear. My wife found those. It's from her motorcycling days. Well, I'm sure they'll be very grateful. Do thank her. They didn't say what they wanted them for, did they? Afraid not. Makes you wonder what they'll be getting up to tomorrow, though, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, it does, rather. Well, <clears throat> good night now. Good night, Mr. Evans. And thank you. <laughs> How about? 
out. If you go straight to the bottom of the valley, turn right, then just follow the river and see where it goes. Okay. Hang on. Ready? Ready. Right. Jeff! Jeff, what are you doing, Jeff? I just thought it might be more interesting this way. Interesting? For goodness sake, you can't go anywhere like this. Jeff, turn us back. Now, this instant. All set? No, I'm not all set. Am I?